I had somebody ask me the other day, do we ever get any calm days at Hallover Inlet? Of course we do. Here you can see this Midnight Express rolling through here at about 80 miles an hour, and this is a good day. But of course we don't always focus on the good days here at Boats vs. Hallover, and let's go ahead and get this week's match started. Our first round is going to be this 39-foot Mystic vs. Hallover, and as you can tell, we picked a little bit of a different day than what we saw in that first clip there. This particular vessel is coming in a little slower than it probably should be. A boat with this displacement and this much horsepower on the back should come in a little faster than this, and now they're going to take the pounding for coming in so slow. They didn't have the bow up and wound up diving in through a couple waves here, but fortunate for them, the boat's size and power, they're still going to take the win home in the first round. With the boats taking the first round in this episode, what can we do to correct that? Well, we can send the pontoon crew out there in the second round. That's right, we've got a single engine pontoon boat coming through haulover with everybody in the bow of the vessel. And look at these guys getting completely soaked. Everybody's cell phones, anything they have with them is completely drenched now. The only way they could have gotten wetter on this ride is they were coming off the back of that water slide on the back of the vessel. But you know what, we're still going to give this round to the pontoon boat. Boats go up 2-0. I'm probably going to get some hate on this one, as you guys are probably sick of hearing me say save the kids. But until people start coming out of Hallover Inlet without their kids in the bow of the boat with no life jackets on, I'm going to keep preaching. Especially in this one, it's crazy. Right here, the wife notices the cameras, starts getting a little crazy just for the cameras and not even paying attention to the kids in the front of the boat. And then, of course, you got the kid in the front of the boat looking back like, Mom, this sucks. Mom looks back at her and says, suck it up, buttercup, and keep on going. While this vessel does make it out pretty much unscathed, just a little bit of a rough ride. I still can't give this win to the boat. Anytime you're gonna put your kids in danger, I'm always gonna give the round a haul over. Here in the fourth round, we're gonna have a unique situation. It's not often we see haul over inlet make a woman's day, but today we're gonna to see that happen. Here we've got a couple people who've rented some wave runners, and my man in the high vis yellow obviously is their guide going out. One of the females has fallen off the rental ski, and they're struggling to get her back on. After sitting here in the inlet for a while, my man decides he's gonna dive in and give her a hand, but quickly realizes, as you can tell by the look of fear when he looks back at his ski, he should have never left that ski with the currents and the tide that's going on here in Hallover right now. Even the woman who has rented this ski looks at him and says, you're an idiot, go get back on the ski. She does finally get her friend back up on the ski, but there's a little twist here. What's about to happen is they're going to transfer this girl over to the guide ski, but look at the smile that comes on this girl's face when this happens. I believe this was all a ploy, assisted by Hallover to get her on that guide ski, so I'm giving this round a Hallover. We come into the fifth and final round tied at two apiece, but you know what? We got a ringer, we've got a rough rider at the end. We got my man and his girl have decided to take the ski out and have a good time and she is hanging on like a champ. They go blasting through these waves and no matter what, he's not knocking her off and he holds on as well. We're going to have a first this week. We're going to have the Boats win the fifth and final round and they are going to win this week's episode of Boats vs. Hallover. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash an anchor on the subscribe button. If you don't, me and my boy Wavy Boats, we're going to come deflate your trailer tires. If you haven't already, check out my channel at Broncos Guru. Also, Wavy Boats has a channel over here doing some great haulover videos as well.